Okay, good morning, class. So today we're looking at equations. We're looking at exercise four. The first part of the video we're going to do exercise four, the odd numbers. Okay. Exercise four, the odd numbers. I gave you the odd and even to do homework. Yes, okay. As I said, we're going to do the odd first and then followed by the even numbers. All right. So in the future, I can just give homework like this. Okay. It's a size 4 for chapter 7 equations. So for number 1, we are told. Solving problems. 8 less than 3 times a number. So where do we stop? We say, let the number be x. Okay. So 8 less than 3 times a number. So what do I say? 8 less than 3 times a number. So it's going to be 8 less I will subtract 3 times a number. Is equal to? Sorry, 8 less, other way. Huh? 8 less than 3 times a number is equal to? Okay, there we go. Determine the number. So in other words, I need to solve for? So if I get over the equal sign, it becomes 3x is equal to 10 plus 8, which is 18. So what do I do now? Divide by 3 both sides. So x is equal to? Right, you guys understand? Any confusion? No? Let me know if the, if the button goes off. Okay, the battery is um, 20%. But anyway, number three. A number increased by twice the same number. So where do we start? Oh my word. What did I say? What am I going to do now? Only odd numbers. Who said I skipped the number two? Did any of you listen when I spoke? Let the number be... A number incre increase means say what? Plus. A number increase by twice the same number. X plus? Twice a number would be what? 2x. Is equal to? The cube of 3. So it's 3. Cube. Find the number. What is 3 cubed? 27. 2x two, uh, two plus x? 3. So I divided by 3 both sides. Therefore x is equal to? Any confusion there? No? Let's go with number 5. People, as you can see, yeah, you'll, you'll ask yourselves what? Do we need to put this in? Do we need to put this in? Yes. You're going to get a mark for this here. Okay? Because when you bring a variable into the sum, you must introduce it. You guys understand? So if you bring your x to a party, you can't just put him there. No? Or whatever there. You have to introduce. No, sir? So, same story here. You can't just put the x there. You must say what the variable represents. You guys understand? Yes. Excess is cut out, no? Number five. The sum of two numbers is 172. Where do I start? I say it. The first number B X. So the first number is X. What's the other number? 172, yes? 
minus 6. That is the second number. Therefore, the second number will be 72 minus 6. Yes, Michael. Um, so, for that first step, instead of writing the first number be x, can we just say first number equal to x? Yes, sir. Okay. They differ by 112. What does that mean? Minus. So you mean to say the first number minus the second number is equal to 112. What's the first number? X minus 172 minus X is equal to 112. Okay. So what do we get? Multiply that in, I get x minus 172 plus x is equal to 1, 1. I take it over the equal sign, the suit is solving for x, so x plus x is equal to 1, 1, 2 plus 172. So that's going to give us 284 is equal to 2x. Divided by 2 both sides, so x is equal to 1. 42. Determine both numbers. So therefore, the first number is equal to 142. And the second number is 172 minus 142. Gives us 0. Okay. That, who got that answer? Okay. Yes? So, for the second number, I say um, the second number will be y. And you got the same answer? Yes. Well done. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, this is another way of doing it in grade 10, where we go with two unknowns in the sum. Okay. You are way ahead of your age, of your, of your grade. But you can work with it by all means. Anybody else? Has any confusion or question relating to question 5? Let's go to number seven. Number seven says, I think of a number. So what do I do? Let the number be x. I think of a number. Double it. So what would that be? 2x. And add 10. Plus 10. The answer is equal to 6 less than 3 times the original number. 6 less than 3 times the original number. So it's going to be? Find the number. Easy, no? So what do I do? X is one side, number is the other side. So what do I get? 2x. Minus 3x is equal to minus 6 minus 10. What is 2x minus 3x? Negative x is equal to negative 6 minus 10. Negative 16. So I divide by negative 1 both sides. So x works out to be 16. Any confusion there? No? Number 9. Number 9, we are told determine the length and breadth of a rectangle. Alright, so what is the scenario of a rectangle? Determine the length and the breadth of a rectangle if the length is 3 less than the, uh, 3 less than twice the breadth. So what do we do? We say length. Which one of the two is smaller, the length of the breadth? Normally the breadth is smaller, not so. Let the breadth be x. So what would the length be? We are told that if the length is 3 centimeters less than twice the breadth, the breadth is x, 2x. 
You guys understand? The question says, and the perimeter is 18. How do we normally calculate the perimeter of a rectangle? Perimeter is going to be 2 length plus 2 breadth. But they have already calculated that to be 18. Can you see that? So what do we say is, the formula is perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 breadth. Okay? So what do we do now? We say your perimeter is 18 is equal to 2 times length 2x minus 3 plus 2 times the breadth which is x. Okay. Now we're and so now it just becomes a simple equation. You see, once you can set up the initial formula, the equations are normally not that complex. Simple equations, not simple. You've got 18 is equal to 4x minus 6 plus 2x. x is one side, numbers the other side, so it's 18 plus 6 is equal to 4x plus 2x. 4x plus 2x is 6x equals 24. Divided by 6 both sides. So x is equal to 4. Ever answer the question? No. Therefore, the breadth is. 4 centimeters and the length is 2 times 4 minus 3. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 is 5 centimeters. And we can test it. What's 2 times 4? 8. 5 times 2? 10. 8 plus 10 is? 18. Which is, of course, the parameter. You then ask us to calculate the area of this. The area would have been, this was not asked. It is going to be length times breadth, which is 5 times 4, which is 20 centimeters. Again, that was not asked, but if asked. Okay. Now, do you guys understand, people? Any confusion here? No. So, uh, that brings us to the end of the odd numbers to exercise 4. So, we're going to go into the even numbers. It's going to change the marker quickly.